In this video, we'll be creating an AI-powered intelligent travel guide using an Arduino board, a GPS module, and integrating with Arduino Cloud, OpenAI API, and Telegram board. This project allows you to get top tourist destinations near your current location by pressing either a physical switch on your board or a virtual switch on your Arduino Cloud dashboard, with the recommendations delivered directly via your Telegram account. I'll be giving you complete information like circuit diagram, the PCB files if you want to make a PCB, and complete code and explanation so that you can make one yourself. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And one more thing guys, if you are really into electronics and robotics, make sure you check out our channel. You will find really useful stuff there. So if you don't want to miss more useful videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Now let's take a look at the circuit first. We are currently in Altium PCB Designer. The Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi mode can be powered via the USB port or a DC jack from 9 to 12 volt. The board itself includes a voltage regulator to provide the necessary 5 volt and 3.3 volt for internal components and connected modules. The GPS module typically communicates with serial UART protocol. For the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, the GPS module's TX pin should be connected to the Arduino's RX1 pin and the GPS module's RX pin should be connected to Arduino's TX1 pin. The GPS module also requires a 5V power supply and ground connection which can be provided by the Arduino board itself. Or you can connect it to the 5V power supply of the 7805 voltage output pin. Here we have a physical switch that is connected to pin A5 but of course you can use any GPIO pin with the switch. For this project, we will be mainly focusing on GPS data acquisition and communication with OpenAI and Telegram Boot. But in the next video, we will be using this MP3 module and the display module to create an interactive AI-powered tour guide. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss that. This is just my design guys, so like I said earlier, I will provide the schematics in the description so that you can redesign the entire thing, customize it and make your own version of it. Once you have set it up on a breadboard and make sure everything is working fine, you can use it as such or you can make your own PCB so that everything will be neat and compact. Now let me share with you something that might be really useful for you if you are really into electronics and robotics. If you have ever built a PCB, a robot or IoT gadget, especially with your team, you know the hardest part isn't always wiring or coding. It's keeping everything connected, your design, parts and the team. That's where Altium Develop comes in. It's a new cloud platform that combines the power of Altium Designer and Altium 365 into one space for real-time collaboration. Designers, firmware engineers, sourcing and manufacturing all can co-create together, seeing changes, comments, updates and collaborate on your project in real-time. Just imagine working on our next robotics project and instantly checking if our microcontroller or sensor is in stock before designing the PCB or sharing out layout with a friend who is coding the firmware right inside the same workspace, Altium Develop makes everything easy. So make sure you check it out. The link is in the description down below and you will get a 30-day free trial. Now, the software part involves setting up the Arduino Cloud project, writing the Arduino sketch, and understanding the external APIs for AI and messaging. In our project, we will be sending our current geographical coordinates to open AI API via HTTP request and request for nearby tourist destinations. It will then leverage its extensive knowledge base and natural language processing capabilities to generate a curated list of recommendations. Then how do we receive the recommendation? For that, we will be using a Telegram board. A Telegram board is an automated account within Telegram that can interact with users send messages and perform various tasks programmatically. Once OpenAPI generates a tourist destination recommendations, this information will be sent directly to us as a message via Telegram bot. You will need to create your own bot using Telegram's bot father and obtain an API key and your chat ID which allows your Arduino to send messages through your bot using the universal Telegram bot library. It's a very easy process, it won't take more than one minute. The first thing you need to do before starting the coding is, you need to go to Sketch Secrets tab and provide the OpenAI key, the Telegram board token, as well as the Telegram chat ID. Otherwise, the main sketch won't be able to use these values. 
The first part of the code includes some small helper functions that make sure our text and data are safe to use. The trimmed function cleans up strings by removing extra spaces and quotation marks, which is useful when working with secrets like bot tokens or chat IDs. The URL encode function prepares text so it can be safely included in a web request, which will be converting spaces into plus signs and special characters into person codes. Finally, the JSON escape function makes sure any special characters in our text won't break a JSON request. Together, these helper functions include smooth communication with OpenAI and Telegram. Next, the code includes several functions that handle reading from the internet. The read line CRL function reads one line of text from the server, which is mainly used for processing HTTP headers. The read byte exact function makes sure we read an exact number of bytes, preventing incomplete data transfers. Finally, the HTTP body function brings everything together by reading a full HTTP response, whether it uses a fixed content length, chunk transfer, or just streams until the connection closes. The next big function is Ask OpenAI 5 Sentences. This function connects to OpenAI API and sends a custom prompt containing the GPS latitude and longitude. The prompt asks OpenAI to generate exactly 5 short sentences describing tourist attractions within about 1 km of the location. And once the response comes back, the function extracts the text between the markers start text and end text, cleans it up, and returns it. If something goes wrong, it provides a fallback error message. Now, sending to Telegram. After OpenAI generates the text, the send Telegram function takes over. This function connects to the Telegram API using your bot token and chat ID. It sends the generated text as a message directly to your Telegram chat. The function then reads the response from the Telegram for confirmation and logs the result. Now, the center function that ties everything together is Runflow. First, it checks whether the GPS has provided a valid location. If not, immediately sends a warning message to Telegram. If the location is valid, it retrieves the latitude and longitude, passes them to OpenAI to generate tourist highlights, and then sends the results to Telegram. Now, moving on to Arduino's main structure, the setup function runs once. When the board starts, it begins by initializing serial ports, one for debugging, and one for GPS module. Then, it loads the cloud properties, connects to the Arduino IoT cloud for Wi-Fi and dashboard access, and prints a ready message. Next, we have the loop function, which runs continuously. And inside the loop, the Arduino cloud stays updated and GPS data is constantly read. If new GPS coordinates are available, they are printed out to the serial monitor. It will also check if the triggered button is pressed or not. If so, it runs the main flow that sends data from GPS through OpenAI and then to Telegram. Actually, that's it guys. Now you can connect your board to your computer. And once you have connected the board, you should be able to see the connected board right here. And if it is available, you can simply compile and upload the code. Now let's see what happens when we press the button. So guys, this is how our AI-powered intelligent travel guide works. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.